I'm back with a haul. As I know, you guys absolutely love a haul, especially a Primark haul. I mean, who don't love a cheeky bargain at a Primark? So today I will be sharing with you some little things that I got out of Primark the other day. So if you'd like to see what I've got in my shop, then stay tuned. But before I start, don't forget to subscribe, put a big thumbs up and leave a lovely little comment in the comment section. Thank you. Right, let's get started. So, here we have it. So, I didn't actually buy that much, to be honest. Like, I went in... I mean, I can't be the only one that goes in, picks up about a million things, and then has a rethink when they're walking around, like, do I actually need this? I hate buying things for myself, like, I will happily go out and spend money and buy other people things, just because I'm a nice person. But, when it comes to buying myself, like, clothes and stuff, I just don't, I don't know, I just feel a bit guilty, as weird as that sounds. Um, I mean, if you looked at my wardrobe, you probably would think I'm lying by saying that because I've got loads of clothes. But, genuinely speaking, I do feel guilty. So, anyway, I haven't got that much, but just a few little nice little bits and bats that I thought you guys might like. So, if you see them, your local Primark might actually stock them. So, let's get started. First of all, first of all, actually, this is, this is one of my favourites. So I bought this um, cheeky little jumper. Um, it was five pound, like, come on. How cute is that? So cute. I've got a size medium because I, I like my jumpers quite baggy. So I thought, oh, it would look cute, you know, with cycling shorts or um, like leggings or jeans, anything. Um, but it was five pound, which I thought was an absolute bargain. And annoyingly, actually, there was a few different colors of these. Um, with like different writings and stuff. I've got another one, I'll show you that one and then I'll talk about the one that I just wanted to talk about. So yeah, so that was a um, cheeky little bargain out of Primark and I mean, it's just so comfy. Like who don't love a comfy, cute jumper? And if you couldn't tell already, I'm loving the colour green at the minute. I feel like it's my colour at the moment. I'll change soon, but loving that. Then I've got another jumper. Uh, the same section but just um, a different colour so this is a cute little cream one which just says girls on it and again I got a medium because I like it to be quite baggy um, and yeah five pound what a bargain Ooh, it's got a hair on it not mine either it's black so yeah got this cute little jumper um, and I was gonna say which was why I was annoyed so they had like a plain, uh, a plain pink one and I think it said something like, oh yeah, it said um, be nice on it. And I thought it was proper cute. So Connor was with me at the time and I was in the queue literally paying for this lot. And I, I've changed my mind again and I was like, oh my God, I should have got it. Called Connor because he was like out the exit because he hates Primark. And I asked him to um, get it for me and he wouldn't get it for me. So didn't end up with a cute pink one, but... I'm hoping to go back this week, so if it's still there, which it better be, then I will get the pink one as well. So yeah, cheeky little steal, five pounds. So get yourself to Primark Girls, cute little jumpers for you. Um, then, as soon as like, well the Primark that I was in, as soon as you walk in, it's like they know what they're doing in these sort of shops. They put all like the proper nice things at the front that they know everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, like go in and grab a load of things. So as soon as I walked in, I saw this top that I literally love. So I'll just show you. So, I mean, the material on this, you would not even think it was Primark. Like, the quality is... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. The quality is good. It's kind of reminds me of a Zara piece. Um, and the colour. Like, this colour is so in at the minute. This cute brown bodysuit which is like a ribbed material and it's quite thick and even the collar's quite thick as well and I like that it zips up and down because then you can like dress it up or dress it down you know so that was eight pounds I mean for the quality normally Primark stuff can be quite thin can't it and I've found recently like sometimes I buy my bodysuits off pretty little thing and stuff 
But I found that the quality from Pretty Little Thing at the minute is quite crap, to be honest. It's really thin. So when I saw this, I thought, you know, it feels good. I got a small, which is a 10 to 12 in Primark, because um, I've got quite a long body. I'm quite long as in general, I'm just a long person. So yeah, I'm excited to wear this. I could even wear that with hot pants, I could wear it with jean shorts, I could wear it with leggings, literally anything, all year round. What a bargain. So yeah, so that was that cute little piece which I was buzzing with. Then I got, so I got some cheeky leggings because I mean, I've got two dogs, if you don't know already. So I'm always going through leggings like, leggings and tights, I must buy so many pairs in a month, it's a joke. So, I mean, who don't love a cheeky, cheap pair of leggings? So I just got a plain black pair with like um, a hip, what is that even called? Hip. <laughs> it says hip waist legging. So basically it just sits on your hips and your waist. So they're like quite high, they're high waisted. That's the word, I couldn't think of it. High-waisted leggings. So yes, yeah, so I can pull them up quite high because I like that comfiness of that. So yes, yeah, so I've got a small in those, which is a 10 to 12 again. And they were only four pounds, which, you know, the quality is decent. I always used to worry about Primark leggings being see-through, but I've had these ones before and they're actually all right. Um, so yeah, cheeky little pair of leggings. I can never have too many leggings, you know? So then, so I've got some knickers, well, fongs, shall I say. And I like the little three piece sets that you get in there, but basically they don't have many nice colors these days. Like, do you not find when you buy a set of knickers or fongs or whatever you wear, that they always have like two nice colors and one really ugly color? So you're buying a pack of three, but you're actually probably only gonna wear two of them. But anyway, so I've got these cute little ones. So I've got like a, Black pair, khaki, and a pink pair. But the reason why I picked these ones is just because the material is super comfy. And I mean, comfort over anything, you know? I'm not having not, I'm not having a big flat wedgie. I just want to be comfy. So yeah, so I got those. So they're small again. Um, and they were five pound for a pack of three. Love those. And they do loads of different colors as well. It's just personal preference, I suppose. Then I got, oh, you ain't ready for this. I'm not normally a lover of the foot section, like the shoe section, foot section, like they sell feet, weirdo. Um, I mean the shoe section, I'm not normally a fan of the shoe section in Primark. Um, I don't know, I just find like the sandals and stuff like that, especially in the summer, they're just quite cheap. So it's very rare that I go in there, see a pair of shoes or a pair of sandals or something that I like. But do you know what? The shoe section this summer is it is up there. It's, it's you know they're doing well. So anyway, so I found these bad boys. I mean they might not be your cup of tea, but how cute are they? Literally like the quality. Like I don't know what has happened with Primark these days, but the quality is unreal. I got a size five, so normally I'm like a six, sometimes a five. It just depends. But I tried them on in store, so they definitely fit me. Um, and they were eight pounds. And by the way, they come in like five different colors. They had this cream pair, um, black, yellow, and they had a few other colors, I can't remember. But I picked the cream because I thought it goes with more, you know? And the black didn't look as pretty as the cream. Is it a cream? It's creamy nude, isn't it? Same thing. But yeah, the black, di the black looked like, more ch like a little bit cheaper. I can't explain it. So, yeah, so I got them, um, which I thought was super cute. So I could even wear those with my new jumpers or even my bodysuit. We'll see. But yeah, got those bad boys. So then I picked up along the way, as you're walking, you know, doing your little loop round Primark, always end up in the accessory section. Um, so I picked up some random little things. Can you guess what it is though? So obviously it's some um, bobby pins. So I've got the brown ones. They normally do blonde ones, but I couldn't find them this time. 
But I don't normally use them that much. But they're always good to have because the one time that I don't have them, I'll, I'll want to use them, do you know what I mean? So yeah, one pound and it comes in a little case so you don't have that drama where... Do you remember when they used to do them on like the um, plastic packet and they'd all be like slid in, like, they'll all be like slid on there. Slid on there? Does that even make sense? I don't know. But they'll all be on there and then like they'd all come off. This, you get a little case so you ain't got that drama. And if you're going anywhere, pop it in your bag, job done, mate. One pound. Then I got, I mean, MUA. Got some sponges. So the reason why I picked this pack is because they're different sizes and stuff. And I find when I'm like blending my concealer and that, can't quite get in there with a big sponge, you know. I want to get right in the crease. So I've got, I've got this, um, this pack. I don't know what the quality's like. They feel quite like you know hard, but I think when they're damp, they'll be good. So I'll give those a go. I'll let you know how I get on with them. And they were two pound fifty for a pack of four, but you get four different sizes, which is quite handy. So yeah, so I got those cuties. And then I got the cheeky little set of nails because have a look at mine. When I was shopping the other day, I thought, mate, I need to get some tips on these because they just look like my brother's hands, to be honest. So I thought I wanted to jazz up the hands, jazz hands and all that. So I got this in the colour mint and they're pointed. I quite prefer pointed ones, to be honest. I don't know why, I just think they look a little bit more natural, even though they are long. Um, and I find that the pointed ones, I don't tend to break them as much as square ones. I don't know. Anyway, so I got them in mint and I also got them in a pink colour, but I already wore them. So I ain't got the pink ones to show you, but they were like a baby pink. And they were literally one pound. It comes with glue and everything. Like, you just can't complain. You know, if you just want to quickly whack a couple of tips on, if you're rushing about, oh crap, my nails are crap. Whack a few of these on. It takes two minutes, two minute job. And you've got pink nails by the end of it. So that's it. And then, do you know what? That's it really, I didn't actually spend that much. I spent £41 in total. I'm just gonna tell you my favourite items out of here. So obviously it's the bodysuit, the shoes, and then I'm gonna have to say this jumper just because I'm just proper loving it. Like, I'm probably gonna wear it in one of my videos so you'll see me wearing it. But yeah, these are like my top three picks. Let me know what your favourite item was out of this Primark haul. But I really hope you enjoyed this small haul. And yeah, if you really like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and a lovely little comment in the comment section. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.